in this video, I'm going to prove that 1 is equal to 2. So I'd like you to check whether there is a fault in my proof. So to start off, let's say let A is equal to B. So if A is equal to B, I could simply multiply both sides by B. So if I multiply both sides by B, I'll have A times B is equal to B times B. So this is simply AB is equal to B squared. Now, I can also subtract both sides by a square. So if I subtract both sides by a square, I'll have ab minus a square is equal to b square minus a square. So from here, I can factorize a. So I have a open bracket b minus a. And then this is equal to, this looks like a difference of two square. So we have b minus a b plus a. The next step to take is to divide both sides by b minus a. So this is divided by b minus a divided by b minus a. So if I divide both sides by b minus a, this can cancel out this, this can cancel out this. I'll have a is equal to b plus a. So remember that a is equal to b. That means b is also equal to a and we can change the b here to a so that a is equal to a plus a so if a is equal to a plus a is 2a so i can divide both sides by a so that gets 1 is equal to 2. so is there a point where there's error in the proof you can pause the video and try to check the error in the proof. If one is equal to two, that means something is broken somewhere. So if you look at this proof, where I have B minus A is where there is an issue because if A is equal to B, that means B minus A is equal to zero. And in mathematics, you cannot divide a number by zero. In mathematics, I cannot see five divided by zero. This is an undefined number. It does not exist. Okay. So the proof from here onwards, the point where I divided both sides by B minus A is invalid. So this part doesn't work out. So that is why one is not equal to two. So if you liked the video, leave it thumbs up share with your friends, subscribe to the channel.